Hello there, great people. I hope you are doing well. Greetings from Portugal. Nuno here. Thank you so much for stopping by. And since you already saw the title, we are going to talk about installing macOS Mojave, as you can see on the wallpaper behind me, on unsupported Macs. Okay, so Apple decided that Macs after 2012 are eligible to work with macOS Mojave. If you are on the situation that your Mac is before 2012, you are not able at all to install macOS Mojave. But there are bright guys over the web and one of them created a patch in order for people that have um, these laptops uh, that are not, you know, uh, able to run macOS Mojave for you to test it at least, okay? I think you are entitled uh, to install whatever you want on your computer, okay? So that's why we are going to make, you know, a small, I will try to make it small, okay? Tutorial, we are going to the screencast and going through all the steps that are required for you to install macOS Mojave on your unsupported Mac, okay? Uh, so without further ado, Let's go to the screencast and go through all the steps. Very well, so let's go to the good stuff, okay? This is the website that uh, I will leave you in the description. Everything, it's here, okay, guys? Uh, it, it will not be possible for me in this video. It will be a huge video to go through all these websites. But here, uh, you will find all the requirements, okay? Since Max from 2008 till 2012, that you know are supported for this patch and also the, the Macs that aren't. Here you, you have all the steps, all the known issues, okay, that you can find after installation and uh, you know everything is here, even all the steps that I'll go through with in this screencast uh, on how you can do it. So this is a wonderful tool that I'll leave in the description in order for you to follow all the steps now that is on this same web page over here if you scroll a copy of the patcher of the tool okay and you just go ahead and download it i already downloaded it and i'll minimize this okay let's minimize this i already download the patch and it's over here this is one of the things that you will need uh i and let me just go here to the app store perhaps you will not you'll need of course a copy of macOS Mojave also okay in conjunction with this macOS uh, patcher uh, I believe that you are not able to download uh, since your Mac is not supported to download through the uh, the app store uh, Mojave okay so you will have to find different ways and you are bright guys uh, Mojave is free so I think you are not committing anything wrong but you have to find Google is your friend a DMG uh, file um, of Mac OS Mojave okay so uh, I just uh, I, I did that okay I have it here and you will have that DMG file and then you just go ahead and put the image that is over here on my application folder. I, I like my applications to be here on the dock. If not, it will be on the finder, okay? And this is the, the image of macOS Mojave, okay? Six point something gigabytes. Now, these are two things required. Uh, third thing, you will need an external drive or external pen drive, okay? Uh, external uh, storage with at least 16 gigs of RAM. So uh, in order first, uh, you plug it uh, in your Mac, you go to utilities, uh, disk utility, and you go ahead and format your pen drive. Okay, I have here one. Uh, just click erase and uh, give it a name. Okay, and then um, format it with macOS extended journal. I'm talking about the pen drive or external external hard drive that you will you will create the bootable macOS Mojave with the patcher. Okay, now this is the first step, and the second one you go to your main operating system, your main you know hard drive or SSD that is on your computer, and please do a partition. Okay, just go ahead. It's very simple. 
click partition, go to your main drive, click plus, and you know, uh, put the size that give it a name, Mojave, for example. And two things if you have an SSD native, an SSD on your Mac, you can go ahead and format as an APFS file system, the new file system, okay? If you don't have, if you have a mechanical hard drive, you format it as macOS Extended Journal, okay? Please do a partition, don't install this on your main operating system or else, you know, it is your responsibility and if you have problems, don't blame me, okay, below, okay? It is on your own and your responsibility. Make a partition in order for you to test everything, so, okay? Now, these are the steps that are required. Let me go ahead and cancel this. Now, in the macOS Mojave Patcher, you can just go open it. Yeah, allow. In my case, it says my Mac is supported, okay? In yours, you don't have, it will not have this, this message. Now, you click to browse the uh, macOS Mojave that you downloaded, okay, the image. Just go ahead, let me check here, small letters even with, with glasses. Uh, install macOS Mojave, okay, and open it. It will verify it, okay? It will verify it is okay and then you will go here and pick your external drive that you formatted okay uh, i told you before so you click this very well and start the operation and this will create a bootable patch of um, macOS mojave these are the steps required you will wait okay and then you will have uh, that bootable drive these are the steps required okay guys now afterwards you just go ahead restart your computer and then when you hear the boing uh, or the chime you just go ahead with the alt key press it after the after the chime or the boing or whatever and uh, you will see of course these images that you are seeing on the screen you go ahead, click on the image and start the installation and follow all the steps, okay? Don't forget to install on the partition that you made, okay guys? So let's go to the main camera. Well, people, this is it. Uh, I hope you like it. Follow the steps that, you know, are on the website that I showed you. Follow the steps that, I'll, you know, also that uh, some suggestions that I gave you. Uh, don't try to be, you know, uh, and then blame others for something going wrong. This is your own responsibility, as you can imagine. But I hope it helps. And go ahead, put in the comments below if it works good or not on your machine. Okay, so thank you once again for uh, stopping by and stay safe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.